Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning. We have some GDP out there, 2.4%. You talk about a beat, man. This economy is roaring. The S&Ps at recent highs, what are we, 175 points from all-time highs. NASDAQ 100 is up 207 points right now. That's a boost of 1.3%. You got the S&Ps up 7 tenths percent right now. As we got about 30 minutes to go until markets open, you got the Dow up 85 points and the Russell up by 15 spike higher we get back some of the action you have the ecb you have christine lagarde speaking right now president of the ecb as they hike by 25 basis points uh they see inflation persisting man they are going to be on the task of getting that inflation under control they have quite a task ahead of themselves the fed may have quite a task ahead of themselves as well as this economy is relentlessly strong we'll see how that weighs on inflation as the months go forward crude oil this morning we just got above $80. We're backing off a bit to $79.75 for the price of light, sweet crude. We have some action in currencies, as you may expect. Now, we get a rollover on the gold contract, okay? But, boy, we got some action going on in currencies. You just had gold on this contract that we're going forward out now. Trade from 2017 down to 1998. Again, that was a roll. OK, that was a roll of contracts. Again, you didn't get a spike higher to the tune of forty five dollars to the upside. You jump to notes and bonds. A little bit of lower price and higher yield on the 10 year. You jump to the two year right now. Again, lower price and higher yield for the U.S. You jump to the dollar index. We have dollar strength. That is mostly to do with the fact that dollar back at one oh one twenty two. And yeah, check out the move in the euro, man. Euro from 111.50 to 110.64 right now. You got weakness in the euro. As the euro pulls back, that's putting dollar strength into the market. Uh, we got a couple of things, as in a huge GDP report for us at the same time as you got a press conference going on for Christine Lagarde. Both of those events coinciding. Uh, yeah, and we get to see them play out in real time. We jump around to some of the companies with their equities that we'll be talking about coming up at 9 o'clock on the morning market kickoff. How about Facebook, man? Zuckerberg. $327. We just hit $330 for some context here. We're back. We're back, folks. How about that? All of it back to that range. Mark, right? Just off the highs of $384. But you're back to where this market was at the beginning of 2021 from $88 bucks to $327. Stay tuned, folks. Lots to talk about today. We'll get into those GDP numbers. 2.4% growth for the second quarter. We'll go over some of the earnings. We'll take a look at the ECB. Stay tuned. We'll come